guys, welcome back to my channel. And this week is our third episode of Harry Potter series week. We already mentioned the first and the second episode of Severus Snape movie line of Harry Potter and made sentences and vocabulary in my channel. Due to Harry Potter 20th anniversary, Return to Hogwarts will premiere on HBO Max on New Year's Day, January 1st, 2022. So I will use Snape movie line which he used to insult Harry from the first episode to the end to warn him. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends if they are also big Harry Potter fans. Chinese from textbook, but you can also learn tons of valuable Chinese phrases and vocabulary from daily life and dramas. Don't forget to hit this button and let's go for learning Chinese with Harry Potters. Okay, so today we will use the fourth and fifth episode of Harry Potter to learn Chinese sentences and vocabulary related to your daily life. So, in the fourth episode, Dumbledore announced that the school will ask the revived treasured tournament in which three magical schools compete across three challenges. But there's one condition mentioned. Only wizard, age 17, and above may compete. So of course, our young Harry at the time hadn't hit the aging 17. Logically, he shouldn't and can't attend the competition. But Barty Crouch Jr., he put Harry's name in the Goblet of Fire, forcing Harry Potter to join this cruel game, which Voldemort involved inside. So the second task involved the champion diving underwater to rescue someone valuable to them. But the question is, they must hold their breath underwater for an hour. So if you are not really familiar with Bubble Head Charm, which Diggory and Flora used underwater. It must be an impossible mission to let you stay inside of the water for over an hour. I mean, even a world record can hold his breath in the water for 24 minutes 37 seconds. Not to mention you have to fight with the mermaid and swim in the deep water. But how can Harry breathe underwater for an hour? Actually, it's the cutie house elf Dobby steals Gillyweed from Snape's private store, which the book mentioned. And Dobby, he gave Harry Potter about the Gillyweed. But Snape, he thought it was Harry stealing from his private store. So he started to insult Harry with these fantastic sentences. Yes. Less brilliant to insult people in this way. Snape complimented Harry's performance first. He said, Congratulations, your performance in the Black Lake was inspiring. Gillyweed, am I correct? But after that, he started to use his own style to scold Harry. He said, However, should you ever steal from a personal stores again, my hand might just slip over your morning pumpkin juice. All right, let's copy Snape's sentence, which is, however, should you ever. Let's try to make a sentence first, and then we'll pick up one vocabulary from a sentence. We can say to someone, if they keep doing that annoying behavior in front of you again. In English, I can ignore your annoying attitude this time. However, should you ever do it again next time, you might wish you'd never be born. If you are Harry Potter's big fan, you might be familiar with the part of the lyrics. Okay, but let's translate to Chinese. 我这次可以忽略掉你那讨人厌的行为，但如果你下次再对我这样，你会希望你从来没有出生过。Okay, guys, if you ever watched my last episode, you might notice that we always differentiate time between Chinese and English. You can watch the last episode here or here. <laughs> Let's reread the sentence. 我这次可以忽略掉你那讨人厌的行为. 
。但如果你下次再对我这样，你会希望你从来没有出生过。And there's one vocabulary you can learn from this sentence, which is ignore. Translate to Chinese, you can say, 忽略忽略 Congratulations, guys! You have already passed the first stage of sentence and vocabulary. Before moving to our fifth episode of Harry Potter, subscribe to my channel first, and you won't miss out any useful Mandarin vocabulary and sentences. All right. It's time to introduce Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. The Order of the Phoenix, a secret organization founded by Albus Dumbledore, Harry's godfather, Sirius Black, mentioned that Voldemort seeks an object he previously lacked. Harry believed that it to be a weapon. Before teaching Mandarin, want to ask you guys a very personal, private question. Who still feels sad when Sirius Black is dead in this absent movie? Comment down below to tell me your idea. Also, I have to apologize to you guys because I put the second scene of the Harry Potter, the Order of the Phoenix, in my last episode on my channel. That is, Snape is training Harry Potter, but stopping Voldemort, who keep trying to invade his mind and stealing Harry's memory to take it as his weapons against Harry. So, if you want to check the vocabulary and sentences I made, I put the video link in the description box down below. You can find the chapter in the description box as well. Promise me, you will go back to check it because it's really worth it. But we still can dive into more about this movie line of what Snape said to Harry when he was training Harry Potter. Remember this movie line? Snape said. You and Sirius Black, you are two of a kind. Sentimental children forever, whining about how bitterly unfair your life has been. In here, we have one phrase to teach you, which is "two of a kind." In Chinese, I will translate to "tong yi zhong ren." Tong yi zhong ren. And a sentence that I brought you today is related to daily life using. Especially when you want to correct a person's attitude. In English, you and he are two of a kind, always trying to blame other people first instead of checking yourself attitude. Translated Chinese would be: 你和他真的是同一种人，总是先责怪别人，而非检讨自己的态度。All right, guys, and you know what? Mandarin and English grammar are the same in here. So what are you waiting for? Repeat with me. 你和他真的是同一种人，总是先责怪别人，而非检讨自己的态度。Okay, guys, let's go for our review time to check all these vocabularies and sentences. The first vocabulary is. 忽略，忽略 ，and here has one phrase which is two of a kind. 同一种人，同一种人 ，and here is our sentence time. 我这次可以忽略掉你那讨人厌的行为，但如果你下次再对我这样，你会希望你。从来没有出生过。我这次可以忽略掉你那讨人厌的行为，但如果你下次再对我这样，你会希望你从来没有出生过。And the second sentence is: You and he are two of a kind, always trying to blame other people first instead of checking yourself attitude. 你和他。真的是同一种人，总是先责怪别人，而非检讨自己的态度。你和他真的是同一种人，总是先责怪别人，而非检讨自己的态度。And thank you guys for watching this video until here. Don't forget, we have our final episode on my channel, which is the sixth and the seventh episode of Harry Potter next week. 
subscribe to my channel because I don't want you to miss it. So I will see you next time. Bye.